Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Today, we've got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farming Simulator 22. In total, we have 37 mods today, and they're for all platforms. 25 new and 12 updates, one heck of a day. We're going to take a look at each mod in the store, look at the customization, take a look at slot counts or console players. That way, you know what to expect. We're also going to review all the mods that got updates. That way, you know exactly what's going on today. I do make mod review videos every time mods are released on the end game mod hub usually that's monday through friday so get subscribed if you're new that way you never miss any first up today on this massive mod day we have the rock crawling map from alien gem this was originally intended for vehicles and equipment testing but now with the addition of rock crawling section they've decided to release it based on the feedback that he's gotten uh, it was designed for tractor use but you can use it with a whole lot of other stuff if you do have 82 studios tlx 3500 installed you get one of those default base game which is pretty darn cool take a look at the map real quick you can see on the left hand side we've got kind of some proving ground areas on the right hand side we've got a couple different setups including with some fields and in the middle we've got all kinds of stuff including rock crawling stages which is pretty darn cool we're not going to take anything up there through it today but as you can see you can drive around it to keep an eye out or Drive straight through it. You've probably seen 82 Studios showing this map off a lot in his live streams over the past few months, and now everyone can enjoy it. This is something just purely for fun for Farming Simulator. If you want to use it for actual farming, well, there are some fields that you can farm and take it away. You own the entire map already, which is nice. It is a full-sized map as well, which is very, very awesome. Oh, yeah, and all the hill climb stuff that you guys have been seeing... Well, that's included as well. So you've got different <laughs> different bits of, uh, well, not really sure what you would use that for, but this, yeah, I got a couple ideas that you could use with this. On one side, you've got a plowed ground. On one side, you've got a regular ground. I'm sure you could have a little bit of fun with that. Oof! Update Hill Clam is coming back, baby. It's not, but that would be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, and you got your rumble strips down here, one side versus the other. Is that a sheep? There's a wild sheep walking around. Do we have animals out here? Jim, what have you done? No, no animal pigs, just wild sheep. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, it is going to be 850 slots if you guys are on consoles. And if we pop in and take a look, you can see we've got a new Holland T7, Case Magnum. We also have three different semi-trucks, assuming that you have the Mac installed. If you don't have the Mac installed, you don't get it base game. Same thing it goes for the TLX 3500. Uh, if you got that installed, great. But if you don't, you're not going to get it. And then we got, uh, well, quite a few other things as well, including bits for the rock crawling map with different capacities and different bits that weigh different amounts so that you can see what can go up a hill, which would be pretty darn cool. Um jump in have some fun this is something very different very unique and it's from none other than alien gym if you're looking for some farming well maybe the second map on our list is gonna have that for you guys black water bottoms from map and shanty boys map creations this is a very small in size map only 74 megabytes uh this is based loosely on an area which they live in johnson county missouri Blackwater is a river that meanders its way through miles of lowland farming often surrounded by dense trees, as you guys can see through there. We've got everything you guys would expect to see on here. As you can tell, the map boundary is very loose, and we've got a lot of small to medium and large size squared off fields. Take a look at the PDA. That holds very, very true. We do own the inside of the map, which is pretty cool, I guess. That's pretty awesome. But it doesn't look like we own any fields. No, we own a couple fields through here, but they are included within all of that uh field prices as far as that goes really not that bad Five hundred eighty thousand for the largest one on the map and then the logging area 682 so there's a lot through there that you guys could take a look at this is kind of neat i like this map just really really big old squared off fields if you guys like that you are sure to like this your farm area is going to be right here in the middle and then we've got silos and all kinds of stuff all the way around 
taking a look at uh, stuff that we get in new farmer mode. Well, what do we have here? Well, we've got a case magnum. We also have a claw selexium. We've got a header for that. We've got a corn head for that. Big old cultivator, direct drill. We've got a planter and a couple header trailers to run everything with like that uh, as far as slot counts we got 986 slots for you guys on this one and your third new map today yep we've got three this is new lands from gwendol now this was a map that we had at farming simulator 19 i believe it was pc and mac only back then i think there was a version that came out for all platforms as well but um hey it's here which is pretty cool this is kind of neat and i think it's going to prepare a lot of people for the platinum dlc if you guys are interested in playing that as this is a map that has some fields but is mainly meant for you guys to cut down some trees and then build your own farm around from that again this has been a map that's been here for a long long time a lot of stuff going on through here we've got missions with 28 different fields collections stuff like that take a look at the pda if we pop over to that here is it we've got a lot of stuff through here we've got different uh i say waterways we've got different areas this is kind of neat because there's a full highway system on the map as well with fields striping the sides of it all the way down which is really neat you can also buy individual areas near and around the town individual areas for doing your logging some of these are squared off some of these are <laughs> not so squared off and you can also buy areas right up to the edge of the map um it's gonna be kind of expensive to buy everything but i'm sure you guys will find a way we've also got areas with fields here so you can see we own field number two down here we own a nice area there and then an area up through the top as well right up here there is a train system and there is a hot air balloon that makes a whole lot of noise why you gotta make so much noise my dude let's jump in and take a look at what you get in new farmer mode console players are gonna find that this is gonna take up 1500 at 16 slots you got a fence 700 we also have the rossa match combine harvester we've got a brander tipper we got the rossa match header we've got the k branded cedar and front tank very nice there dalbo roller fertilizer spreader some stuff for forestry and a weight so uh one tractor one combine harvester enough to get some basic field work done as well as a few things to help you out with some forestry check it out new lands next up we have an insane amount of csz stuff this is the csz pack now before we have had the csz implements pack but this is quite literally everything i'm not going to go over individual slot counts because as you could tell well, there's a lot in this pack. Uh, I could probably sit around and do like a four hour video just on this. So what I'm gonna try to do is, I know Mr. Silly P is gonna do it. I'm trying to link him down below. Uh, nonetheless, you can see we've got buckets, all galore, telehandler, wheel loader, big stuff for wheel loader, small stuff for wheel loader, a little bit different. And you can see at the top left-hand corner as well, it's even got pictures that show you what each piece goes with, which is really, really neat. I've never seen anything like that before, and I think that's awesome. So we've got multi-purpose bucket stuff for forged teeth, grab our monoblock teeth. It's kind of the same thing, but different versions of the same thing. Some things hold more, some things hold less. Uh, some things are silage buckets, which are silage buckets. <laughs> You've got bell forks, bell spikes, bell spears, pickup, arm for lifting, um, which I know Miss Silly P is going to be happy to see, and I am as well, because that's going to help out with logging. We also have an adapter that hooks up skid steer or skid steer to front loader or anything like that. Even got a three point on there. How cool is that? All kinds of stuff that you could possibly think, and you can see down at the bottom, we aren't even halfway through the <laughs> implement list yet. Um, DD Mod Fashion has been taking this and modifying this over the past at least three games, if not prior to that. So this pack is a culmination of work that has come from years and years and probably close to a decade now of work. And it is really cool to see it back uh, for, the, for the small stuff. Actually, Cage. Is that included with this as well? It is. Huh. A little double dipping with the mods there, aren't we? Uh, nonetheless, definitely jump in, check this out. I know a lot of you guys are excited about the CSZ pack. I, I wish I could go through each one individually, but I just wanted to get you guys hyped up for well, what's here. 
Goodness gracious, that is a lot of stuff. Next, we have the Lizard Logo 21 from Woodcraft Money. This bad boy right here is a new logging trailer for you guys. Design, we got gray spikes. We've got red spikes. We also have beacon light configurations, which I assume are going to be on the back. Yep, there they are. Hey, we even have the white strobe. That's awesome. Make colors. Here is your color palette for that. We'll go with a nice dark blue on the bottom. Design color. Ooh, let's go with special green. And then we've got colors for the rims as well. Of course, normal stuff through there. This is going to be three slots on consoles. Next, we have Cutter Trailer. This is from FSH Modding, and this is used for, well, Cutters on the top. We've got different colors for main color. That's going to be the frame. And it also changes the wheel hub. Thank you for including that. We've got stuff for the design. We'll change that up to blue. Couple bits of the frame and the main skeleton down the middle. Plus, we've got a very, very standard rim color option set up there. Love this. Everything you would expect to see here. This fits with smaller headers, so mainly the Deutz Far, um, but you could probably squeeze a few other ones on there if you guys want to. This is three slots on consoles. Next up, another new mod for all platforms. We have the two-wheel trailer from Kasten18. I am loving the Kasten mods right now. This one right here holds 1,900 liters of, well, bulk crop. Pretty much anything you want to throw in there, you're good to go. Weighs 1.2 tons, and it's three slots on consoles. As far as everything else, this is going to be your color palette for it. It would be nice to have the base game color palette as well, so you guys could kind of make this whatever you want. But we do have main color, design color, and rim color. So at least you got some good customization options there. There's also straps inside, so you could kind of do whatever you want with this next up is the fuel gallon this is used to refuel vehicles and store diesel in it color we've got blue yellow gray red back to blue again hold 60 liters of diesel only it's going to be two slots on consoles and it looks really good man heck yeah and we've got a new chainsaw this is the still ms 261 cm light 04 uh this is really interesting so let's let's get this it's going to be uh, I think zero slots. Thing is, like, all right. So the chainsaw looks like it's used for cutting things other than wood. Uh, it is very old. It's got a really neat design on it. I'm trying to actually see the design. Let's see if I can bump back over to it. Boom, boom, boom. Chainsaws all the way to the end. There it is. So look at. I mean, it look. I know it says light 04, but it kind of looks like night 04. It's kind of creeping me out, man. I love it. Next up, we got a really neat modern mod from Ms. Omatana. This is the American barn. And there's like five, six different versions of this barn. So it may look kind of familiar. It's based off of the one I believe that we have base game. However, everything works. All the doors open. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Again, door, door, door. It's an actual usable barn, which is just incredible. Let's head upstairs. If we can get around the corner there. There we go. Head up to the top. Another door there. And way over here. Boop. And there's the door. And there you go. That's kind of the barn. Now, as I said, there's a lot of these. And I'm sitting here yawning right now. It's way too early in the morning for that. So what I've just showed you is the regular American barn version. It's just... It's a shed. It's just a regular barn. However, if we go into silos, there's a version in here as well. There's actually three versions. So there's one with the American barn with a metal silo. There's also a version with a concrete silo. Then we've got a version with a hayloft on the inside, or on the back rather. And then we've got a regular farm silo <laughs> and a multi-fruit concrete silo. They all hold all of your standard multi-fruit stuff. And they'll between 5 and 10 million liters of them. Uh, we go to silo extensions. It doesn't look like there's anything in there. Nothing in containers. However, when we go over to American farmhouses, there's a sleep trigger on the inside of that one. So there you go. I mean, we've got some pretty cool stuff. If you guys have been wanting to utilize a barn that's, well, actually useful... Here you go. Here it is. We got some silos with it. Next up, we got some pumpkins. These are the uh, placeable pumpkins from FSG Modding. So we've got a regular just basic pumpkin. We got the Agco on there. 
Case IH Pumpkin, a couple of Case IH Claws, you have so John Deere, um, don't know what that is, oh, Doisfar, Fint, Giant Software, you got a smiley happy face pumpkin, JCB, you've also got the Krona on there, we've got a Kubota logo, even a Lizard, we've got the dog that's on the, the uh, Mac, we've got Massey Ferguson, New Holland, Sad Pumpkin, K-Bot must have punched him or cut his insides out or something, we also have Valtra, Vermeer, and Zader. And of course, if you need, you've got the Scarecrow. Uh, just ignore the DJ ones. They, <laughs> FSG's awesome. We'll just put it that way. Regardless, you got some pumpkins and you can put them down. They illuminate. It's really cool. Next up, we got another mod with a lot of mods in it. This is the Wooden Shed. But we've got multiple versions. One thing I will tell them, brick looks pretty good. The shed looks awesome on this. If we jump into our buildings, you can see we've got one that's got wooden walls. Then we've got one with no walls whatsoever. So you can take a look at these, place them down, get them real close to each other, kind of do whatever you need to do. Well, you can do it. Uh, one thing, heads up, there is an erased area. I'm just now noticing this, but the raise is only on one side, so it looks like there is kind of a, a whoop that's going on on the front. So make sure you got your front and back figured out. Next, we got a new factory for you. The factory bottle milk, which I think should be translated to milk factory in bottles um man i'm not sure we got all kinds of stuff here we got a sell point of course and we also have the factory itself factory looks pretty good come in here take a look at what we got well milk in and bottles of milk out it is a one to one which is very cool and it's twenty four thousand cycles per month that is a thousand cycles every uh hour that's insane. That's wild and crazy, baby. Uh, very cool to see that. So another way to process your milk. And then we got a sell point for it. Whoop, whoop. Uh, this is going to drop down, I believe, in pallets right over here. If you thought you could escape fish farming, well, you got another thing coming, my dude. Because we got more fish farming. Yeah. Let's jump up here and take a look at the fish. Uh, they are not moving. And I believe they are also one dimensional. Now, uh, where that took this? This is the thinnest fish I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Nonetheless, they're not supposed to look perfect, good, whatever you want to call it. They're just there. This is cool. Check this out. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So this one differs from the other one that we've got. Is The other one is like a huge facility. This is just one by one by one. So you got corn, soybeans, wheat, and mineral feed in. It actually uses quite a bit of mineral feed. And you get fish out, 200 liter pallet of fish those pallets can then be sold at the fish market the sell point right there very nice and the cool thing about this is that when we go in and we hit our productions we hit our factories and we find our fish wherever the fish are here nope that that that's not it this is it uh we find a fish we can actually put like a bunch of these side by side they're meant to be used in combination with each other so if we put down boop, Beep. and then maybe flip it around and put a couple on the other side as well you kind of get to make this facility right whereas the other one as we talked about was just one here one there etc etc now we have an incompletely large fish marking facility that we've made ourselves and now not only one but we've got six so I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty awesome. And if you guys are interested, check out the new, I say new and improved, it's just a different fish farming. Here's another mod that I think is pretty cool. This is the old shed with workshop trigger. Now imagine doing like a smaller to medium sized American role play or something like that. And you just need somewhere to work on your vehicles, maybe somewhere to take your vehicles over to so you guys can work on them, get them all prepared, ready for the next harvest and maybe pour yourself a cup of coffee. Well, here it is. Again, it's a very simple mod at the end of the day, but I think this is super epic. Check it out. Uh, if you're looking for it, it's not going to be found in sheds, but it's going to be found in tools instead. Next up, we've got a dairy sell point. This is the small brick dairy from Barter Bar T. Um, looking pretty good. There's really not a whole lot to it. Here you'll get 5% uh, cash back. What does it say? Small dairy where so you could sell your milk, cheese, and butter for 5% more. More money, guy. There you go. So, there it is. Uh, doesn't look like we could go in. However, was there just an animation that moved? 
Was that just me? Maybe that was just me. Anyway, uh, there you go. We've got a dairy. 5% cash back. We also have a new farmhouse, the EU farmhouse from Carl TG. Uh, you got a place right here where you can get your sleep on. If we go all the way around, there's really not much else to it. Can't use it to change clothes, nothing like that. However, I think there's a lot of maps that this will work really well on. Um, as you know, there's a bunch of European maps where there's a like a ton of houses, just like one after the other after the other. Well, you might be able to find a place to kind of park this in between a little bit and live there. I think that's pretty cool. Next up, we got some brick buildings. This includes two versions. We've got one that's dirty and one that's clean. So if you guys are using mods, maybe you don't like very much a dirty place. Well, there's a clean one. But if you like the dirty one, let's go and open this up and see how it differs. Of course, the inside's gonna look much, much dirtier. And this one, a little bit cleaner. They're still both old, so don't get old and dirty confused. That's completely different. Got some nice little areas in here as well. So that's a complete separate place. This is completely separate, used for hand tools, stuff like that. This is completely separate, nothing else in there. And if we open this up, yeah, it does clip a little bit, but it is what it is. A larger area inside here as well with a drive through Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yo, I could go for some drive through right now. Ooh, ooh, maybe some Sonic. Next up, we got the grain silo, and this is pretty darn cool. So we got three different bloop, bloop, bloops right through there, and we've got some areas through here as well. Now, these are a little bit different. So you can see right here, we've got a... a Thing there we open this up kind of open it up there Let's see if I can open this up there we go that's it but there's some interesting stuff to this and I'm gonna have to turn on my help windows because I don't actually remember or know where all of these little bits and pieces and places are in here all right so if you come around towards this side right here and come uh oh, oh <laughs> my game just froze it says raise the ramp oof it's raising the roof, baby! Well, not the roof, the ramp. Um, so you've got an area there. Now, you do probably need to be careful about what you put there, because if you put the wrong thing, <laughs> you might have a bad time. So the dump is gonna be directly in the middle on this version right here, and then the version on the right-hand side, and you just got a dump trigger right in the middle of it. I think that's kind of cool. I think that's awesome. It's a little bit different. Do you need to use this? No. But is it cool for roleplay? Absolutely. As far as everything else goes, it holds 200,000 liters. It ain't a sell point, as I said. This is your farm silo. We also have some new chicken stuff. This is the chicken shed. This will hold 300 chickens. So I don't want anyone to tell me that a pen is unrealistic ever again because I think 300 chickens might die here, uh, but I love it. There you go, you can see where you can buy 300 chickens. Uh, going through here, can't really creep out through there. Um, let's see, food and then eggs. That's about it, ain't it? <laughs> ain't nothing to it, nice and easy and simple. I like it. How's about a pair of hay lofts? We got them. The, well, hay loft. It says hay loft. It's hay loft. <laughs> Storage for straw and hay. We have two versions. A small barn, as you can see right here. Dump in, get out. Nice and easy. It's also a production chain, which is very interesting. I was not expecting that. This is found in uh, silos. Kind of cool. However, this one, I don't think this is a silo. Very <laughs> yeah, production chain. Can we, oh, that doesn't open. Boo. So we have a dump trigger right there where you guys can pick up everything and then we've got an area around towards the back here Which loads all the way from the bottom drive up towards the top dump in through there. There ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> There are no collisions So you better watch yourself and then you can drive all the way down as well So that's pretty cool. So we have a production area and a hayloft area now I'm interested a little bit in this production. So we have one-to-one -one in and out hay and straw Leading me to believe that if there's a production chain that you have that will make hay or straw, it can come here. And if you have a production chain that needs hay or straw, you don't have to go there. This will just do it for you. So dump everything here. You can get stuff out here. That's kind of neat. Yo! Next, we have an absolutely massive place. This is the grain silo system from Celo Buki, and it is massive. 
Three million liter capacity on here. Price is going to be 250 grand, a quarter of a million dollars just for this bad boy right here. Daily up keeps 50 bucks per day, so that's not too bad. Dump trigger and your uh, gimme back trigger all in the same place. It's just a huge silo complex. I know some people want these on their farm, so if you're one of those people, Go download it. It's here, man. Yeah. Do you need more silos in your life? Are the places you need to put stuff? I got you, man. For Bartson V3, the warehouse with conveyor belts. This is for sugar beets and potatoes only. Five bucks per day, 70,000 liters. So it's not going to hold a lot. This is not for large um, areas. This is for small productions and things like that. And as you can see, well, this is where you dump everything. It is smaller. This is not meant for large farms. It's meant for smaller farms, but I think it's really cool. And I think it could definitely be useful. 100%. I love this. We're getting near the end of the mods, I promise. New mod for all platforms. We've got the Soznovka Placeables Pack. So if you guys are playing on Soznovka or another map and you really like those placeables and you want to use them, well, they are here. This is from the creator Puma145, who made the mod for Farming Simulator 22. I don't think he was actually the creator of 19, but we brought it to 22. You got everything in here. We got the farmhouse. We got a workshop, a hanger, a triple hanger. We've also got a Soznovka sign. If you guys want to put the sign on you, you got it. We also have a straw barn where you could sell stuff. We've got a green silo with an additional silo that you can put down. We've you've got a shed and a weighing station. Everything is here. Everything that you want for Soznovka is on this pack, but it's kind of all over the place. So uh, you may just... Gotta go through each one. You'll find what you're looking for, I promise. And your last new mod for all platforms day. Goodness gracious, this is a long mod day. Fresh products warehouse pack, baby! So this one's for grape stuff. However, as you can see, we got a one-to-one -one in and out. This is nice because you can store your stuff, but it's not just grape juice. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Productions, we've got uh, refrigerated warehouse, which they're all called. However, you can see what they're for. So we got grape juice eggs, butter, I think, uh, <laughs> lettuce, tomatoes, strawberries, cake, and cheese, baby, yeah! So we got one of all of those things. You can store pallets here, distribute the pallets to your production chains if you want to. You can sell the pallets from here if you want to. And then the surroundings are made where you can put a bunch of these right beside each other and create your own logistical area. They're only 80 grand each, and especially if you're doing a lot of one single product, you may want to go with something like this. I think this is cool. It's a great idea. It's really awesome. It's definitely going to be beneficial. All right, making our way into some mod updates for all platforms today. I don't know why I keep saying that. There's no PC-only mods today. First up, the Frankenmuth farming map got an update from Taylor Farms version 1.7. Potato texture has been changed from harvested state. Two placeable barns have been added in the store. Viable land has been reconfigured to include some roads and areas where factories are placed. Ed corrected the soybeans and rows through each growth state. A new save game is not required as long as you've updated to version 1.6, which added a bunch of stuff. That came out a little while ago, so you probably updated by now. Another map update today. This one does require a new save game. Piney Run version number two. Of course, new save game required. The map has had a major overhaul. Now has the following things. Relight from Suck Sneak installed. Thank you to that, they say. Alfalfa, clover, soybean straw. That's sot bean, soybean straw. A compost from Lancy Boy says thank you to him for those. We We've also got 29 new material field types. Most are from the Realistic Gaming Crew, RGC, and thank you to them. We got hydro er, uh, hydraulic. We got traffic and people working spines installed on most of the roads. Added houses and all have selling points. New productions have been added. Five new fields. All fields are buyable and sellable. New starting equipment. Now 63 buyable lands of all sizes in total. A new yard area added at the top of the map. New roads have been added. Quarries doubled in size. 25 mod edits have been included with this. All roads have had trees moved back or deleted and much more. Oh man, that's a big update. I like to mow it, mow it. Yeah, the Zero Turn Mow It Pack got an update today from 82 Studio. This is the first update, version 1.0.1. This has adjusted the traction on the tracks. So there you go. We've also got an update to the 20-foot gooseneck trailer pack, also from 82 Studio. This one is another massive update that you guys need to know about. So he's added support for additional pallets 
and products from a lot of different productions. So these are going to be really, really cool. So version 1.0.1. So Grain Mill Plus. We've also got uh, Plenty Production, Packing Facility, Production for Empty Pallets and Barrels, Production for Paper and Cardboard, Donut Production, Grain Mill, Donut Factory, Donut Factory again, Maple Syrup Production, and Farm Production. We've got all of those. Uh, it also supports bulk pa uh, products and game in-game pallets. Um, I don't know. Oh, the coffee roasted, so that's cool. And then we've got Recanto de Alvarado map stuff there as well, as well as stuff from La Coronella and more. So if you guys are trying to do some auto load with some modders and all kinds of other stuff, I think the zero, or the zero, zero turn, 20 foot gooseneck, I think this just became super OP especially for console players. That's not it, because we also got an update to the Lizard HPN series Brazil from Cola Modding version 1.1, redone the bodywork system, added wood transport on holes, added new dumper capacity of 12,500 liters, and added the 6x4 chassis, just like the other truck. And we have an update to the New Holland CX-580 from Majkel version 1.1. They've added the New Holland Verifeed headers. HR Forest Ponzi Bison Active Frame Shuttle got an update to version 1.0.1, changed the claw wood handling so no more log crab trigger installed and fix the indoor camera they do say note to use please set the change driver direction otherwise the seat will be in the way they've also added position light in the claw to better access where you are exactly roosters dcb telehandler attachments got an update oh, i'm very excited to see these this is version 1.1 added a pallet port and added grain pusher definitely check these out i promise you they are worth it. Camelos says small bunker got an update version 1.1. They've added two single bunker silos. It's going to cost 25,000 or 22,000 and 23,000 daily upkeep, 25 bucks per day. Check them out. How's about an update? We got another one for you. The Dalbo Hydroflex 5.2. I'm in a great mood today. The Hydro from Hydraulic version 1.1 slightly improved the model, added new stickers on the back, and added some color configs. Yeah. Do love them colors. We also have an update to the Seppi Maxi Soil 350 from Black Eyes Official Modding version 1.1. They've added stone removal to the mod. Next to last, we've got an update to the Agromass AT from JMZ version 1.0.1. Disc Caro Texture has been improved, working with has been corrected, bug fix for the Cedar in the AT40 version, and minor bug fixes. They do say caution! The pack roller is not suitable for every seed drill. So use with caution. And how's about we end the day with another mod update for all platforms. The Medium Garage from Presmic version 1.001. Color options have been added, parallax occlusion mapping has been added, model improvements, and improved the snow and textures on the model itself. Yeah! Well, we made it. That is the end of today's mod video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of daily videos, I've already released a tree planting and harvesting blog video. Check that out if you haven't seen it already. Definitely some cool stuff coming to the Platinum DLC. Otherwise, hope you guys have a good one. I'm gonna go take a break. <laughs> we'll see you later. Peace!